Plots of the mean and uncertainty in the form of spread in ensemble prediction systems are a quick way to see how far apart ensemble members are within each system or between multiple ensemble systems. Usually there is a contour of some field to provide the mean value of the data and then a shaded value representing the amount of spread among the ensemble members of that field. Most of the time, the shaded field is a standard deviation, but it could also be the ranges of values, min to max, different percentile ranges, like tenths to ninetieth, or some other ways of showing the amount of spread. Therefore, be sure to read the legend to know what the shading represents on the plot you are looking at. In this example, the color shading is the standard deviation of the 500 hectopascal height, and there are also some areas of black hatching that represents absolute vorticity means and spread. We're not focused on the absolute vorticity for this example, just the 500 hectopascal heights. One limitation of relying on EPS mean and spread is that they do not provide a comprehensive view of the entire range of solutions from the ensemble members. For instance, whether a large or small percentage of members contribute to the observed spread remains unclear. Suppose the ensemble is a blend of all global models. In that case, it's uncertain whether the spread arises from differences between the ensemble systems, like the GEFS versus the EPS versus the CMC, or if it arises from differences among ensemble members within each ensemble system. Spread can also arise from the combination of the two. Therefore, these graphs should be interpreted with caution and primarily used to identify areas where the spread is large.